I mean, I shut off so of how many people he can. Yeah, he was capping it at um, 300. Okay. 300. Wow, that's wow. A lot of people. yeah, it's pretty big because sometimes there's extra people. You know, they come with their spouses or or friends and stuff, just kind of to go, and they don't hunt. So, hmm. yeah. Wow, well, that's fun. I forgot about that hunt. Was this weekend? There's so many hunts coming up. It's the fall. It's the fall. It's like one right after another. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot. Um, mm-hmm. The Lone Star Club has their annual open hunt the following Saturday. So I will be down in Corsicana, Texas, which is about um, an hour or so south of Dallas, and be doing that hunt as well the, that weekend. And then ours is two weeks after that. So we're busy. Yeah. We are busy. We're super busy. And then uh, after a couple of days after my hunt, our hunt, here's my hunt too. I'll be going to um, Holland, so I'm super excited about that. They asked me to do wow. a little video today for them, so i got to get that over to them this week. So it's going to be a super busy week for me. Oh, and still trying to get stuff ready for our hunt and uh, trying to get ready to go to the Kadoha hunt and other stuff. <laughs> Yeah, and that, yeah. Remind, that reminds me. Tomorrow I will um, hopefully have some goodies in the mail for you both for your hunt. Coming from Maine. Oh, yeah. Thank awesome. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we will. Always. Always. Thank you. She's so, always. You want some relics? I think I got some relics in there. I think I got some tokens, some silver, some copper, some Indians, some, got some stuff, some signs, <laughs> some patches. So, hook you Man, up. Awesome. Yep. So, that kind of yeah. answers the question of uh, Sue. Uh, if uh, you're going to, uh, will you be at any upcoming events? <laughs> it yeah. sounds like the next few weekends you're booked up. <laughs> I am booked. I will be busy. So, yeah, yeah between Kadoha and then Lone Star. Um, you know, and there's a lot of hunts all over the country, obviously. Mm-hmm. Each region seems to have its own, you know, regular events, um, you know, between Kadoha, Lone Star, Garrett. Uh, there's a, a group down in Houston that has been around for 50 years, and they put out put on a, a, a hunt down in Galveston on the beach. Hmm. And I've been the last two years, and if you're a beach person, go to this hunt. It is so much fun. They put so much stuff in the ground, it, and it's, it's just a great time. I feel hunt. bad because they invite me every year to go, and because, well, I was one of the founders of the Galveston Island Treasure Club, and then we teamed up with you know Houston and a lot of those surrounding clubs. And yeah, I feel bad. They invite me every year, and I just haven't been able to go in a long, long time. But yes, they do, and it's just fun getting to go to the beach too. You know. Yeah. They just announced it. It's going to be, I think, the 24th of February next year. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure exactly that. So mark your calendar. I'm going. So come on. I might be able to make that one. Okay. Um, We we just got to get Amanda to fly down. I know. I know. Okay. Saving what little time I have left this year and then next year, we, yeah, might, going to have to start putting these aside. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, Sue, uh, Gypsy, do you want to ask her that question? Yeah. So, Sue, uh, if you, well, let's see, wait. If you could detect anywhere in the world with no restrictions and get full permission, where would that be? Stonehenge. Oh, that's a good one. I love it. That is a great one. You know, I, and from, I did it. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I did I a thinking. term paper in high school on that, uh, a history yeah. term paper on Stonehenge, and was just fascinated with every. I mean, I've forgotten so much about all the specifics and the details, but it's always been a thing. And if I could go hunt and do that, that would be that would be it. That's and I even if I never got to go anywhere else in the world, I would be a happy camper being able to hunt Stonehenge. Mm, yes. There in that whole surrounding area. Can you imagine? Sure. I mean, with all the millions of people that imagine. have been there and walked those grounds over the, you know. You would find everything from modern to ancient stuff. and Exactly. Uh, uh, that would be yes. amazing. It would be so amazing. I want to hunt in Egypt, too. I really do. <laughs> okay, that would be a good one. You did, would be good as well. Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh, but uh, Egypt, good luck. You can't bring a metal detector into that country. But no, saying, if there were no if, rules. If there were no rules. If there were, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, uh, I shouldn't even bring that up. I'm sorry, Amanda. Yeah, I didn't think right. of that. No, nope, it's a okay. subject, but um, anyway, for another day. Um, all right. I know we got one other question that we'd like to ask, I guess. We didn't prepare Sue for this, so you want to ask that? Yeah, sure can. Um, so it's a goofy question, and it's it's if you could be, like, if you could have um, be a superhero and have those superpowers to help you treasure hunt, what superhero would you be or what superpowers would you want? Oh my gosh. Um, I think I would have the super power of I you know what? I don't even know. I don't even know what I would what I would want there. I mean there's too many options. Do I want <laughs> to be able to see what's in the ground before I dig it? Do I you know do yeah, I want to have lot. unlimited strength so I can so I can dig forever? You know what? What, I, what would I even want? <laughs> and never get right. tired and keep digging and digging and digging. Um, <laughs> that's a mm. that's a very inter- that's a very thought provoking question. Um, it really is. We've got people saying X ray vision, Invisible Man. Uh, teleportation. Um, I mean, there really are a lot of different things. Um, yeah, there, there's a lot of options there. Yeah. So many. But it's all right. That's a, our goofy one that we've got. That... Yeah, we like to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just different. <laughs> It's different. <laughs> well, I wish you both the best on your hunt, and I'm sure we'll we'll definitely hear more about it on the show over the next upcoming weeks. Before I think we're what a little under a month until it. If I yep. can do the math right, yeah, a little yeah. under a month. Yeah. Coming quick. We will be here before you know it for yeah. sure. We need to get up well, there. And Planting all that stuff in the ground. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll be over there back and forth. At least it's close for me. So this yeah. week. So uh, hopefully I'm before I head out. out to Doha. But uh, hey, I need a magic a magic uh, power planting man. I need to be like <laughs> Flash. You know, if I was like Flash. Would a battery operated right. like hand drill like work to make a hole that you could put it in and then cover? Because <laughs> isn't might. isn't that what uh, the hunt we went to? Isn't that Jeff did that? Was it Jeff mm. in Indiana? He used a drill to, to do the hole. Really? <laughs> yep. Yep. I, I'm like, I, oh, I, that I, makes I, sense. This, this ground is so soft. It is amazing. People are going to love it. Um, the grass 
isn't too tall, but it's starting to grow because we had a big rain. So hopefully, though, by then, we're going to start getting the colder weather. We might have our first freeze. So I think it'll start to first freeze. die Ten- down. Tonight is our first yeah. frost. Woo! So. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. You are getting down in the winter. Oh, we're just yeah. getting All right. We're still, we're still summering down here. We, I think it's going to be 90 degrees by the middle of the week. Ooh. Yeah, and we're we're seeing all the monarchs. And it was like, what, high of 85 today? I yeah. Think. It was the high of 60 today. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. I'm so jealous. <laughs> no, we're going to, it'll be just right for our hunt. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And my and perfect weather. So... Yeah. Well, digging um, in that nice soft East Texas soil. Yeah, that's yeah, I'm gl- so, so glad nice. it's I love digging out there. I'm, so so glad it's soft now for you guys because what like a month ago uh, it was concrete, right? Well, depends on yeah where you were. This mm-hmm. area though, I mean, I know the Dallas area. It's this. It was so dry. There was these cracks in pe- in one of the yards that Jackie and I were detecting. There were these cracks like fifteen inches down. Mm-hmm. I was so afraid one of my finds was about to fall in that crack. <laughs> I wasn't going to get it back. I mean, the ground was just cracking. But um, anyway, yeah, I'm just glad that the drought's over. and Things are getting back to normal. But, yeah, we just got a really nice ring over in East Texas. And the ground is so soft. It's kind of like a sandy soil over there on the farm where we're going to be hunting. So it's perfect. Well, we appreciate you all being here. We ran out of time, but uh, thanks again, Sue, for being here with us. We appreciate it, and um, it was fun uh, getting out with you and looking forward to the Kadoha with you, and hopefully someday Amanda will get to hunt with you as well. Mm. So, Thank you all very much for having me on. I had fun. Yeah. Well, awesome. We did, too. All if right, you hang on, Sue. We're about to say good night. Good night to everyone, and you all have a great week. Yeah, and remember, Relic good Roundup. Night, everybody. Relic Roundup is next with Bill Wiberg talking about his article, Midwestern Detecting Adventures. So make sure you hop on over and give them a listen. And good night, everyone. <laughs> good night, all. <laughs> good night. <laughs>